Hey guys, it's Ben, coach of the Baltimore Oriolus, here with a bit of a GPC update. There's no game this week. Uh, after every three weeks, we have a bit of a transaction period. It's hard to explain because it's kind of wacky of how it works, but uh, all of our names were randomized in kind of like a draft order. So we go in order, we have a maximum of three transactions, uh, and it's, it's, it's kind of weird how it works, but <laughs> uh, we were able to make three transactions during this period. And other people are making transactions too, so like you could potentially get sniped since they're like a, a transaction order. It was weird, but anyway, our team is solid, except it does have a couple of holes in it. So quick refresher: you can see most of it on the screen here. Uh, we have Kieran B, Jirachi, Mega Diancy, Tornadus T, Alomola, Jolteon, uh, Embor, Tangela, Audino, Base Rotom, Masquerain, and Crocorock. So um, I did want to make some changes because. The two games that I lost, both times my opponents used Toxic Spikes against me. And that's because I don't have a Poison type, and because I don't, don't really have a lot of hazard removal, so I really need to fix that. And also, Crocorock. I mean, I like the idea of having it on, on the team, it's a cool meme pick, but meme picks aren't supposed to fill roles. I needed a ground type, I needed a dark type, I picked up Crocorock because I need something to fill those roles, but that's not a good idea, to pick up a meme pick as something to fill actual roles on the team that need to be filled. So. I wanted to drop Crocorock and something else to pick up a new ground type, new dark type, a poison type, and hazard removal. So what I decided to do was drop Jolteon. I know it's sad, it's an awesome Pokemon, but we also have base Rotom, and Rotom does more things than Jolteon, so Jolteon doesn't really add a ton to the team, plus it's 9 points, and that gives me more room to make transactions. So. At first, I wasn't really sure what I would want from the stuff left on the board. I was thinking maybe like Volibee as a dark type and hazard removal. Then I would need something like a poison ground type, but then I couldn't really afford that, so I could only just get one of the two. That would mean like I could get something like Gligar. That would mean no poison type. It, it was ugly. My options weren't good. Then, um, Ethan dropped Drapion. And once I saw Drapion on the board, I was like, okay, sweet. We can pick up that than something like Sand Slash, because Drapion is 7 points, Sand Slash is 4 points. Jolteon is 9 points, Crocorock is 2 points. Uh, I drop Jolteon and Crocorock, that gives me 11 points. Sand Slash is 4 points, uh, Drapion is 7 points, boom, perfect. Gives me a Poison type, gives me a Dark type, gives me a Ground type, gives me another Hazard Remover. So that was the plan. Uh, but then, <laughs> Drapion got sniped by Jock, who dropped Skun Tank for it, which is even better. So... We got Skuntank, and it's even better because it gets Defog. So we have another Hazard Remover there. And then, once my next pick came around, I was able to drop Crocorock, pick up Sand Slash. So now, we have a ground type that actually does something. So uh, we've dropped both of our ground, both of our electric communities, uh, with Jolteon's Volt Absorb and Crocorock being a ground type. We picked up Sand Slash as our only electric community now, so, I mean, it's better than Crocorock. Uh, it gets Rapid Spin, it gets Stealth Rocks. Uh, it's got decent base stats. Special Defense and HP aren't great, so like it's pretty frail on the special side, but... I mean, I guess getting around something like AV. You're gonna have something like Rocky Helmet. Um, because it's got some decent physical defense there. Um, and Skun Tank, I have never used before, but it gets a variety of moves. It gets like Sucker Punch and Pursuit, those are cool. I have on the same Pokemon. Uh, poison Jab, obviously, it's, it's a Poison type. Flamethrower, I think it gets Fire Blast as well, but most importantly it gets Defog. So now we have, uh, I think four Hazard Remover, five if you count Masquerade, which I don't. We have Torn T, not a great Hazard Remover, but it can get the job done if need be. Skun Tank, really glad I picked that up. Rotom, that's a pretty decent Hazard Remover, and Sand Slash. So now, we have a Poison type, we're not nearly as weak to Toxic Spikes as we were before, and I really feel like this team has gotten a lot better. We have really filled in those gaps that we're missing. We have, I think, every type now. Wait, do we? We might actually have every type now. I'm not sure. But having every single type isn't really necessary. It's just nice. Uh, although Skuntank being the... See, we still have an issue. Because we're still kind of weak to fairy types. Because Skuntank is part dark. And our fire type is part fighting. <laughs> it's just Jirachi. Dang it. Alright, so... That's still probably the biggest flaw with the team. We only have one fairy resist, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. 
Uh, we don't have anything above 121 in terms of speed because we dropped Jolteon, but overall, I think that was really good. We made some really good transactions. Uh, we dropped the most expendable Pokemon, the two most expendable Pokemon on the team, picked up Pokemon that, actu that can actually like do stuff for the team that other, that other Pokemon can't do. We have more hazard moving options, and all in all, I think that was a really solid transaction period. So, uh, like I said, no game this week. We're going to be back next week for week four when we take on Bob and Fishy. And uh, I might have like some sort of random battle with friends going up later today. I don't know. Something to fill up the empty Sunday. Not sure. I might do something like that. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week.